Hello everybody, I am Fleeksy, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get started with Abiathar from scratch and within 10 minutes have a modification of the Keen 5 levels running in game with DOSBox. So, what I have done here is I have downloaded a fresh copy of Keen 5, the standard version 1.4 EGA uh, from CK Guy's excellent zapzot.net. I'm going to extract it right here. Bloop. Here we are. So this is a completely new copy of Keen 5. I have done nothing to it other than just extract it right here. Before your very eyes. So, in Abiathar, we are going to create a new project because, obviously, <laughs> we have no, uh, no project file now, so we need to make one. Now, we could, we could open this file and get the map head from somewhere, but since this is a new copy and we haven't done anything with it, there's no existing changes that we want to save, uh, we can just create an entirely new uh, project based on the Keen 5 levels that Abiathar has inside of it. So we're going to start with Keen 5, and we'll need to select that folder, which is under my documents, Commander Keen, the Abiathar test, and this demo. There we are. Next, and we want to start from original game level files. If you were, say, opening a mod or transitioning from Tom, you would want to start from existing level files. But we're starting from the original game. Uh, yep, these are fine names, and since we have no existing files that we need to deal with, we can just put whatever names we want, and Abiathar will save them and create them when we first hit that save button. Uh, we're not going to deal with graphics today, so let's just go with the original game graphics. Tile info. We can always, and of course we can always modify any of this later under Edit Project Settings, but for now we're just going to load the original game's uh, tile properties. That was easy. And here we are. I'm using the default Abiathar view settings. I have changed nothing. So this is, this is, this is what you'll see if you just get a fresh copy. So this is the world map, the Keen 5 world map. And under Level, you can see all the levels. We can switch to the first level here, the Ion Ventilation System. This part here is, of course, <laughs> the actual level, and over here is the Tile Palette. This, we're currently showing the background tile set. If we want to see the foreground tiles, just press 2. And, of course, you can also pick from the Tile Set uh, menu. For example, if we want to see Infoplane, just click that, which can also be accomplished by pressing the button 3 on the keyboard. So. Let us just add a few uh, a few things to this level so we can see that you can indeed easily make modifications with Abiathar and see them in game. Let's say we want a uh, another platform. Let's pick this, and this indicates that it'll create a platform that just goes up and down between uh, two of the blocks. And you can see that, I believe there is one in the Regulation Control Center, or maybe there's not. No. Wrong level. Wrong level. Um, here they are. It's in Brownian motion. These guys. It starts going up. And in fact, let me zoom in a bit. I'm going to press the plus button on my keyboard, but you can also do this by going under View and choosing Zoom In. So I'm going to press the plus button. Boom! We are now at 32 pixels per tile, and you can also zoom in by adjusting this slider here. So yes, these are the same thing. The pink platform is going to start going up, going to bounce off this, and it's going to continue oscillating between these b, -b blocking <laughs> sprites. So let's go back to the ion ventilation system. And let's add it right in. Hmm, where shall we add a platform? Oh, there's already one right here. I didn't notice it at all. Ha! <laughs> um. Now, if we were to click right here, let's just do that, notice how we get a black background around it. That's because all planes are active. We are overwriting not only the info plane, but also the background and the foreground. 
Let's press the Z key to undo that. And we can right click the active label here to change it to locked. This can also be done by pressing the one key on the keyboard for the background, uh, or the two key for the info plane, and for the foreground that is, and the third key, number three, for the info plane. Notice this little block here that indicates whether the one, two, or three, the numeric keys, are going to affect which tile palette you're viewing. For example, if I press two here, we'll see the foreground. But if I move my mouse over here, and the block is on the level side, and I press two, it will lock the background, the, the, the foreground, excuse me, plan. That can also be modified by going under these menus and say if we wanted to turn the foreground to active, press that and there it goes. Pressing the 2 key on the keyboard does the same thing. So now if we just click here, it only modifies the foreground. Very nice. Let's switch over here to grab this blocking tile and place some B's, there we are. So this platform will go up and down between these guys. And let's make some quick modifications to the foreground as well. How about we add um, some vital ins? Now, this is not going to do anything besides add a B tile uh, because only the info plane is active. See? Let's press Z twice to undo that. Rather, we need to enable the foreground and disable the background, pressing the 2 and 3 keys respectively. And now if I was to drag my mouse around a bit, we can do some of this. Get vital ends. Very nice. So that's all the modifications we really need to do here. So we'll let's save our changes under File, Save. Now this has already placed us in our demo folder, so we just need to type a name for the dependency project file thingy, and when we save this, all the level resources will be automatically saved with it. So let's just call this uh, K5, why not? Save, and we can see back in our folder here that K5.8ups has been saved, and it spit out a map head, and game maps has been modified. But if we just go to DOSBox and launch Keen 5 right here, it is going to crash because we haven't told it about our new map head. So we need to write patches, and Abiathar can do this for you as well. All you have to do is go to File, Generate Patches. Yep, the following files will be created or overwritten. That's fine. It's going to place the patcher in the directory for us. It'll create a patch file and a batch file so we can easily play our mod. Hit OK. Boom. And over here you see that we now have a patch file, keen5 patch, and play.bat. If we look in here, we'll see that it will patch the map head. Very good. But that is actually going to fail because CK5 patch can't patch an original uh, new download of keen5. We have to unlzexe it, decompress it if you will. A Abiathar can do this too. So just go to the file menu and choose unlzexe, and it is keen5 that needs the unlzing. Decompression complete. And you see it has grown from one, where, where'd it go? From 104 KB to 260 KB. So it is now fully decompressed and it can be patched. So now we need to launch DOSBox. So let me do that here. Here's DOSBox. CD to our demo folder. I have some uh, auto mounting commands in my DOSBox configuration. All we have to do is type play. Yep, very nice. Do a normal game. Da, 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 da. Enter the ion ventilation system. And we will see that we have some extra vitalins around. And look, a random floating platform thing that is sort of out of place. <laughs> That's because I made this really quickly. And there you have it. We started with a fresh install of Keen 5 and Aviathar, and in under 10 minutes we had something of a level pack working in-game. In future episodes of this series, I'll be continuing to do little tutorials. This was an overview, but in the future we'll do some focused 
task-oriented uh, demonstrations. So, look forward to that. I am Fleeks, operating Abiathar here, and I will see you next time.